So today we are going to be going over how to wire the Google Nest Thermostat E. I've already removed the old thermostat, but just to go over quickly how it's wired. The G wire is for the fan, the blower only. RC and RH, as you can see there's a jumper between the two. And then the 24 volt wire comes into RH or RC, either of the two is fine. Um, y is thermostat cool and W is thermostat hot. So this will come into play later when I show you all the wiring. So this is the Google Nest. It's already connected, but just to show you the wiring. As you can see, Y goes into Y, G goes into G, R goes into R, and then W goes into white, and then the C is the common. C was not connected previously. Um, luckily, my wire run did have a blue wire. It just wasn't connected on this end, or was it connected up at the furnace, which we'll go take a look at shortly. Okay, so we are now up here on the roof. As you can see, we've taken off the side of the board so we can see the control board here. Um, these are the wiring for the thermostat. So, basically this wire right here is coming in from the wall. As you can see, it's branching off into these different colors. If I can get that to focus a little bit. So these are the wires that are corresponding down to where it is connected to the thermostat. So red being the 24 volt, white, blue, and so forth. Um, the blue one is the one that wasn't connected, which is this one right here. And I looked up the wiring diagram and I found that pin number 9 of this connector is the 24 volt common. So I basically took that wire, connected it, and that is connected up here. Which is coming off of the 24 volt common from the transformer right here. So everything is now wired appropriately. Um, for these smart meters, you really want to make sure that you have that 24 volt common. Um, the issue that I had was that it wasn't providing enough voltage to charge the thermostat. So it would basically go into power cycles and thermostat would turn off. I'd get about two minutes of air and then it would turn off. It would turn back on. It was giving incorrect reading temperatures, um, temperature reading, sorry. And just a whole wide list of issues. Um, Wi-Fi would drop out. Um, did some research on the internet and found out that the 24 volt common was needed for these, even though technically they say it's not. Um, and I did try to connect that common wire before coming up here, and it erred on the screen of the Nest saying that the red wire 24 volt didn't have 24 volts anymore. Um, so I researched that a little bit and found that that was because the blue wire was likely not connected on this side, which coming up here, I did verify. Um, so once connected, everything started working as expected. So we'll go back downstairs. So as you can see, everything is working as expected. We go to the menu. Go all the way to the right. Technical info, power. Your power should always be above 3.7 volts. If it drops below that, that's when you start having issues. You can go to, I believe it's sensors, equipment. It'll tell you which wires are wired. So we have the white, yellow, green, the common, and the red. Other than that, that's pretty much it. 